lesbian and bisexual homosexual fact. They got some damn nerve to call somebody a freak. You white men and women are the biggest freaks on the planet Earth. You got some damn nerve to call somebody a freak, you faggot bastards. You lesbian bitches. <laughs> and the whole of every foul spirit, and the whole of every foul spirit, what dwells in here? The whole of every foul spirit. What is that telling you? What is a foul spirit? Something that is against nature. What do these white people practice? Faggots and lesbians. That's the main thing that practice. Faggots and lesbianism is the main thing that these so-called white people practice. And they're showing you that on the TV program. They're weaving it in now. They got men getting married. Then this nigga just got a TV program rock. And he gonna have a nigga on there with another nigga, with a white man, getting married to the white man. Black people ain't like that. They ain't, they ain't, the ones that's like that is a few that follow this damn white man being a faggot and a lesbian. When I was growing up, I remember men was men, man. Men was men. This white man is taking you down that road. Brainwashing your children, taking them down, trying to make faggots, and this black woman is going along with it, making faggots out of their own children and not teaching them the white right thing. They don't teach them, their children that this white man is their enemy. These black women don't teach their children that this white man is their enemy. If they taught them right and sat them down and taught them right, where well, they can go in this system and use this devil and manipulate this devil. But the black women is the main one with the children. That's why I'm saying this. They teach the, the black kids to love this white man's image and a white woman's image. And these black women going to pay for that. You're going to pay for teaching your children to love this white man's image and a white woman's image. You black women I'm talking about now. You're going to pay for that in person. And you black men that misuse your children, you're going to pay for that in person too. You ain't off the hook either. The ones of you that don't get yourself corrected and come around to what the Most High wants you to come around to, you're going to die. And you deserve to die. It's a damn shame that you black men should be like you are in this setup now, in this time and day. You're supposed to know that this white man is your enemy. And you're supposed to be acting accordingly. But you're not. The majority of you is for the white man. Negroes speak up against this white man, you're the first one to say something about it. You're the first one to go to the crack and say, uh, he, he talking about you, he's, he's doing that, he's doing that. that, that Negro over there is doing that, that guy, that black guy over there is doing that. You're the first one to go to white man tell him. And why you niggas come off being buddy buddy with the white man? White man ain't your buddy buddy. That's right. Did I get that? In the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Yeah, this white man is a, a cage of unclean because he's a devil and a hateful bird. What made you think he was righteous? And you're supposed to hate your enemy. David say he hated his enemies with a perfect hatred. I'm talking about this white man, this devil. You're supposed to hate him. And you're supposed to get him when you can get him. You're supposed to stick it when you can stick it. That's what would make me mad with these black kids. They, they doing the wrong thing and selling the drugs to their own people. But when the damn cops come up on them and they know they're crooked as hell and they're going to misuse them, they should blow their ass away, blow them away. They got the weapons to blow them away with. Damn, if I was one of them out there, gangsta out there, I'd blow their ass away. I know they're crooked as hell and they're going to misuse me. Go try to lock me out, blow their ass away. And some of you are afraid to die. What you afraid to die about? You're already dead. You're already dead. So you black men that don't stand up, you're going to die. And I'm glad that time is coming. Okay. Your woman is out of place because you ain't standing up. She's out of place. That's right. Because.
If you were standing up when this nigga ass woman get out of way, put our ass to death like she's supposed to be put to death. That's what's going to happen in the future. Because they're out of place. This black woman is out of place just like you out of place. They're seriously out of place. That's why the kids is out of place. So we ain't compromising with nobody. We're dealing with the scriptures of what the Most High is saying. We ain't taking one inch backwards. We ain't stepping one inch backwards. We ain't compromising with nobody. And we don't love you unless you come back to who you are. If you don't come back to who you are, I hate you just like I hate the white man. And I'm going to be prepared to kill your ass when that time comes, because I'm sick of looking at the way you acted. That's right. Yeah, that's true, because you said, like that situation with Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson didn't rape that woman. She went to the hotel and spread her legs, man. But, but she was nothing but a damn gold digger like the majority of you black women are. Nothing but gold diggers. Even the white man that's going with your woman is finding that out. Oh, I don't want to be with the black woman. She ain't nothing but a gold digger. That's what the majority of you black women have become. Gold diggers. A lot of you don't know how to cook. Don't know how to sew. Don't know how to take care of your man. What was you made for? I'm going to have a sister right here. Why, why do you think the Most High made you? What purpose did the Most, Most High make you for? I'm sure you read the Bible. Huh? Huh? Okay, well, what, what did the Most High make the women for? Go to the book of Genesis. Genesis, the third chapter, the 16th verse. If you read the Bible every day, you would know. No, go to, go to Genesis, the, the third chapter, and the 16th verse. Then I'm going to go to the New Testament. Okay, because this is the key point right here. Read. This is, the, what, this is what the woman was raised and made for. Unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. That's why when women have babies, they go through labor pain. For you women that went through it. Why? Because the Most High put that curse on you. Prior to that, woman just had the baby would just come out. No pain. Because she made a pact with Satan, which is the white man. And you black woman, Eve, which is Eve, you done made that same pact today. You got that same pact. That pact ain't been broken. That con contract ain't been broken. Read. And so, thou shalt bring forth children. That's why you got the labor pains. The Most High put that in you. Read on. And thy desire shall be to thy husband. And a woman's desire shall be to her husband. To her husband, singular. Not no 50 different men, 100 different men. And as soon as a woman lays down with another man, she becomes a whore. How many of you women in America can say that you have one man, you stay with that one man? Not too many of you, all right? Not too many of you. It says your desire shall be to your man, not to no other woman, not to a whole lot of men. Read. And he shall rule over thee. I'm reading that out the Bible. Now I see the woman getting mad. But you're going to bow down to the Bible. The Most High said, and the woman shall, and a man shall rule over the woman. Rule over the woman. You're going to bow down, just like the white man's going to bow down. Read. No. Okay, now let's yeah. don't run away. Don't run away because this is important. It ain't like what you what you say. It's gonna be like most I say, so you can understand crystal clear. It's eleventh chapter of Corinthians. First Corinthians eleventh chapter. Read the first verse. Be ye followers of me, even as I am also of Christ. Okay. Read again, are you? Be ye followers of me, even also I also am a place. Because that problem was happening back there in the churches back there. That's why this was said. Because the black woman was out of line back there. Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I deliver them to you. Keep the ordinances as I deliver them to you. Slow down a little bit, brother, so it come out clearer. Slow down. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man. Why do you think that was put in there? Because they was get, women was getting out of order back there then. That's why they were put there. That's why I say in Timothy that a woman is not to usurp authority over man, that a woman is not to teach. That's why I said that, because they was getting out of place back there. That's why I was put down. Read it again. All right. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is the most high. Every man praying or prophesying.
king, having his head covered, dishonors his head. Yeah, because we are in the image of the Most High, not the woman. We're the image of the Most High. But, but every woman that prayeth or prophesies with her head uncovered dishonors her head. Because she's not in the image of the Most High. The woman is not in the image of the Most High. Now read the seventh verse. Or uh, the sixth verse. Right. For if the woman be not covered, let her also be sure. If she prayed to the Most High, a prophesied to the Most High with her head uncovered, the Most High said, let her hair be cut off her head. Let her be shown shaved ball. So you can understand. The seventh verse. Right. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head. For as much as he is the image and glory of the Most High. And they teach in these churches out there that women can be priests and preachers. Now I'm showing you that that's lies. That's lies. That's an abomination for a woman to be a preacher in a church. It's an abomination. We're proving that with the scriptures. Because man is the image of the Most High, not the woman. But the woman is the glory of the man. The woman is the glory of the man. She was made for us. It's going to make it crystal clear. For the man is not of the woman. No, we're not of the woman. We had the woman. We had the woman and everybody else on this planet. That's why people don't understand the sperm come from the man. The boy's sperm and the girl's sperm come from the man. That's the seed. When they talk about a test tube, baby, they're talking about the sperm. That's the seed. The man brought everybody on this planet came from man. So you can understand. You still having daughters and sons now out of the sperm. The woman don't have a damn thing. She just carries the baby, carries your seed, until it's time for it to come out. But the woman of the man. Yeah, the woman of the man. Not the man of the woman. Read again. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created by the woman. And you people out here are stupid as hell allow the so-called white man to push that garbage down your throat that the woman is equal with the man. The woman is not equal with the man. There's no equal footing there. The most high didn't make them equal. That's why you got a penis. She don't stick you, you stick her. But I gotta break it down to your plane so you understand. The woman don't stick you, you stick her. But the woman for the man. The woman was made for the man. The man was not made for the woman. The woman was made for the man. She is your possession. And what was she made for? To be your companion and to give you sex and pleasure. That's what she was made for. And to take care of your children. Anything outside of that, she's out of order. She's not supposed to be a judge. She's not supposed to be a lawyer. She's not supposed to be a supervisor. She's not supposed to be in any position over man. Who put her in position over man? These damn faggots you see walking up and down there. The white man. That's who got this going on. Even in ancient time back there, when they had queens over Egypt and all that, they were under the men. They were under the laws and order of the men. They only had that position because there wasn't a man to sit on the throne at that particular time. I'm talking about the other nations. But in the nation of Israel, that was not allowed for a woman to be over us. That was not allowed. That happened one time, and the Most High had that woman put to death. Where she killed out all the children, and she had some stupid-ass Negroes to go along with her. To set her on the throne. So when it came time to put her ass to death, her name was Attila. They put her to death. The priest, the high priest came out and had her put to death. Because a woman ain't supposed to sit on the throne. The man is supposed to sit on the throne. 